We're in the final, everybody. Alpha Flight Club qualifier. Let's go. Who's going to be on top? Not a two-hour final. 75 minutes. Let's go because that's the way it should be. Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the final of the Alpha Flight Club Qualifier. This will be a 75-minute final because I said so. Yes, you heard me right because I said so. I know I'm trying to pretend like I'm being really confrontational, but it really just makes sense. My co-host for this game, is I am the William Hegwood the glad to be here Dion capital T capital H capital E let's go now if you're watching this live or later on you can join us every Monday Wednesday Saturday here at twitch.tv slash gold squadron podcast and if you haven't yet where you been? You missed out on like a ton of giveaways today. We had some really generous people in the chat give it, gifting subs. We hit all the goals. I gave away extra stuff. Like literally started just giving away things from my desk. Come on. Join us live here on Twitch. Now, I'm about to open up that Choose Your Champion poll because I know Sasha likes to get into it quick. Go ahead. Break down those matchups and I'm going to open up the Choose Your Champion. All right. Fantastic. We have Sasha returning with double separatist fire spray that's Django with lone wolf jam and beam count dooku thermal detonators false transponder codes and a hull upgrade and zam and the other fire spray there with jam and beam change to palpatine thermal detonators and false transponder codes uh last time we had sasha on on uh, they completely de destroyed marcel um using uh, smart use of Dooku and Palpatine Force Crew in combination with uh, the false transponder codes, adding jam to your target lock actions. On the other side, we have from our previous top four game, Patrick Hinson, bringing a trio of Jedi Knight uh, in the Aether Sprites with Delta 7B configuration, giving them a 3-2-3-3 three, three, three stat line. Uh, leading their squadron is Luminara, also in the Aether Sprite. Uh, she's rocking the calibrated laser targeting. I can add a eyeball result to her shots when the enemy is in the bullseye. She's rocking a droid C-110P, or as we know him as Chopper. Uh, using Chopper here to take a red evade, trying to get to the other side. Um, that allows them to jam. But we're getting into shots already. You weren't joking. Yep. Getting into it quick. In to boost some Django. Django's got hit. Uh, called the crit with Dooku there, which we'll read in a second. Here's and the reroll. Lone Wolf. Reroll. Hit, hit, crit. Jedi Knight didn't have any mods. He double repositioned, and he's down three uh, shields already. Well, I'll tell you, you know what? Patrick's been here before. He has lost half points in the opening salvo in the <laughs> last game and still won the game. So, you know what? Not too bad. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, we're going to... Uh, oh, let's read that Juku crew for those not familiar. Uh, this is what was spent to change that dying to a crit. So, Juku says... Before a ship at range 0 to 2, rolls attack or defense dice. If all of your 4 stars are active, doesn't mean a lot. Uh, you may spend 1 force and name a result. So, uh, they named the crit result on offense there. Um, and if the dice roll does not contain the name result, the ship must change 1 die to that result. So, you call hit, uh, and or excuse me, you call crit on your offense. I normally be calling blanks on your uh, when you're using it against somebody on their defense. Very cool to see. Um, Showing the me. cast, it's range two. Oh, for the lone wolf trigger. Yep. I assume so, but good yep. to know. Yeah, just because you know everybody's asking about it. Oh, he didn't measure. He didn't measure. I, I would you tell you, I'm, you fair, measure, I, I'm fair. I'm fair. I'm fairly certain this is a this is a practice opening. 
Mm-hmm. All righty. Great use of these fire sprays. Um, a lot of times when you have these ships like this, where you have a lot of odd combinations, very specific triggers, uh, you can get lost in that um, train of thought for it. But uh, this pilot knows their ships very well and has been on point about these Dooku triggers. We saw it. Mm -hmm. Oh, what, what have we seen Dooku on so far? We uh, saw... We saw uh, asteroids like mm -hmm. forcing your opponent to, to, to roll a hit. We've seen debris mm -hmm. forcing you to roll a crit. We've seen council fires manipulated mm -hmm. to, to guarantee death. I mean, that most of a the time, thermal detonator, uh, yes, we well? saw a thermal detonator as well. Yes, it, it is. Uh, I mean, that is an underutilized part of Dooku widely in the community. A lot of people just use it on offense and just yell crit and just kind of look at it that way. But there's, there's a lot of potential there now. In reply to somebody here in the chat, say, do you play randos on Saturdays? I'd like to beat you on TTS. First, no, I don't play randos. I play the fam, okay? I play the fam. Uh, so got, got to put that out there. And uh, I actually don't usually don't play people on Saturdays. We usually play with uh, members of the community on Wednesday nights. Saturday mornings are community matchups of community members against each other. You, anybody can join that, by the way. Join our Discord. Go to the GSP Plays category. Click a couple of buttons. It's pretty self-explanatory. And, uh, yeah, it's super easy. That's Anybody can join. And we basically just tag people say, hey, who's available? Are you available? Hey, you. You want to play? And we set those streams up. Thank you to everybody who uh, who is a part of that. All right. So that Blue Jedi Knight tucking in. Little by little. Creeping forward, maybe trying to trying to catch a, a little bit of Zam here. Yeah, uh, Django doesn't have a great entrance into there. Would have, have had to risk a lot by three uh, banking over that rock. So most likely just going to turn away for this time. So uh, Patrick here thinking he has an opportunity to catch Zam in a kill box, but I have a feeling Zam. Isn't going in and probably taking a hard turn to the to Zam's right. We'll find out though. All right, taking another chopper charge there on Luminara. Nope, Zam's coming in one bank. And so, uh, somebody in the chat did uh, did mention, by the way, that uh, if if it were to fit, you could also use Dooku to uh, like go over rock. And just say blank on the roll. Oh, of course, yeah. You know, now, Django did not have that set up because the three bank would not fit. His tail end would be stuck on there. But it is definitely a strategy. Watch out for that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Zam came in, realized that she is not getting out of those arcs uh, with any sort of reposition here. So just took the red reinforce. Uh, that's smart use uh, of the actions available on that chassis. Looks like we're going to take a lock on Jedi Knight 3. Now uh, it's going to activate false transponder codes. Jam in that ship. I uh, just want to clear, oh, I so clear up a little bit of misinformation here in the chat. Uh, let's, let's finish these attacks first. Uh, there's, a, okay. there's some confusion going on. A lot of words replacing other words here. All right. Range 2 from Zam into the blue Jedi Knight. Already have taken half points. Here goes Zam. Ooh, all right. Already has two hits. Got the chance to use the force. Is declining. Yeah, I mean, you have four ships facing you. I, I understand that. Yeah. Ooh, there's also going to be a Luminar charge in here as well. Okay. We do have, uh, so did that do anything then? Oh, I think they just both spent their force. No? Oh. Yeah, they both spent their force. That's a blank out. Takes not, dead, two. not dead though. Hey, count it. Uh, so Luminar just saved that Jedi Knight there um, by using her ability. Very cool. <laughs> two See hits. How much they damage they do into a reinforced Zam here. One, one hit. 
Shazam. Can't do much about it other than Flipper. Uh, you should thank me getting a charge and target lock. That's right. Set that up for next turn. Let's Being able to have jam. those modifiers. Luminar is evade, which doesn't mean a whole lot. So, uh, is anyone going to use false transponder codes? Doesn't really matter anymore. Two crits Ooh. rolled. Is this the one with the focus? Yep. Sure is. Spend in the four, three. Reinforce does trigger. It's going to be one. Yep, and the other charge back going to keep the lock or move the lock? Yep, you should thank me triggers every, the, the second paragraph after you defend triggers every time Zam defends. So you can just pop around that target lock to uh, each target as, uh, as they fire at you. Mm -hmm. It also triggers that recover a charge one. So if you have all four charges down, let's say on Zam, and you get shot by four different ships, all four of those charges are going to come back up. Yep, and you can also get the lock while you have full charges. And you can recover the charge without getting in lock as well. That was a very versatile ability there. Okay, I'm range two shot here without a focus. Just using the force. So another crit, another shield, another charge, another target lock. Now, some of the things I wanted to clear up here, people were asking about Dooku. So, the Dooku trigger um, is a is considered a modification. So, it, uh, it while it's kind of for attacking and defending, it happens during the modified dice step. That's just important to kind of understand how how that one goes. There is no text that says that you can't alter it, mind you. You know, like if you have a you know a target lock off of the initial roll. Somebody dooku's you, you get a blank, you could just go ahead and grab that and uh, and re-roll it. Exactly. The last shot from blue ended up being two hits on two evades. No reinforce needed. So, uh, Zam's got three shields down, but blue Jedi Knight has but a single health. They both have locks out there, too, so that Luminara Chopper Jam uh, will only strip the lock. They'll still be able to keep, get a focus or reacquire the lock in the next round. Special delivery. So I see I see no reason for Zam to do anything. Oh, she is stressed, though. Do you think she would keep the stress and still hard, too? Or do you foresee a, a, a three forward to clear the stress? Sorry, I have I have a, a, a an Arwen in my ear right now, so I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> no, listening to little no. little kid whispers. No worries, no worries. That's a good question, though, Will, because um, Zam does have a force, right? And so it's not like she's completely mm -hmm. unmodified. Are you asking for the um, top And top? if she does like do it too hard to the left, that is kind of a nice escape route. And is she carrying bombs? Oh yeah, they both got thermal detonators. So really, either way, yeah. you're trying to set up the bomb by either going fast. Um, I probably wouldn't risk the four forward um, because you really want that stress to be cleared. Mm -hmm. All right, really yeah. quickly, really quickly here before we going, uh, Arwen has now officially gotten her tauntaun since we gave since we gave the other one away. We don't need this one for an example. Say bye to everybody. Tauntaun says bye to bye. All right, you can go play. I love you. <laughs> All righty. Eon, uh, yes. I don't know if you remember, but the first time you had me on stream, uh, Arwen came in and she was like, who's that? And you said, that's Jonah. And she said, uh, Jonah can be a girl's name too. <laughs> uh, she had, and, uh, there's uh, there's like, a there's a a kid named uh, uh, a girl named Jonah in her class. Really, Jonah, yeah. not yeah. Joan. No, yeah, Jonah. That is not a uh, girl's yeah. name, but all right. 
Okay. It can everything's be, it can, everybody's name. Everything's everybody's so. name. <laughs> yeah. All righty. I don't know how it's spelled or anything like that, but it's all right. Are you she sure it's was, not Joanna? It's Jonah. Oh, okay. I, I've ri- right. I've written out the Valentines. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All righty. Let's go. So looking at the board state right here, these there are bombs here, right? We got thermal detonators on Zam and on Django. Those could be relevant. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we're trying to decide is uh, where where is the best place for this stressed Zam? Uh, do you keep the stress and try to find an exit lane to the left? Do you try to skip over? I mean, there's really no reason to stay in this scrum, is there? No, there's not. I mean, one of the issues, of course, is the fact that you are looking for a blue maneuver. Uh, but your blue maneuvers are a little bit predictable. I guess you could one bank in either direction. You also have, I think, the three straight is the fastest one. And right there, that, yeah. sloop, that sloop is covering the one bank to the left. Mm-hmm. The one bank to the right is kind of kind of covered. If uh, Luminaro just kind of goes slow with the one bank to the right, oh look at that! That is a kill box. That is the risk with taking reinforce on these uh, on these fire sprays. It is a good defensive ability, but uh, if you become predictable, people can find you. All right, Jedi Knight picking up that target lock. And there it is. All, all, all the options are blocked up. Yeah, may, maybe four forward. That's going to be a risk, though. Nope, there's also a jam, just in case you didn't... <laughs> Uh, the jam's going to break the target lock uh, Zam got last round. Like, oh, man. <laughs> I worked so hard for that. <laughs> right. Move that lock around to every ship that shot her. All right. Um, jam successful. Let's see what the... Uh... I will say, Patrick been doing really good with that chopper. Really knows the limitations and uh, options for it. Um, has always gotten. I've never seen him in these last two games jam a friendly ship. Oh, there it is. Great. Yeah, I've tried a hard two left, and so it has to keep the stress and face the rock as well. This this is Patrick's opportunity to put in some big pain into Zam. You got three range one shots. Watch out. And here we go. Django trying to take the shot here at blue. It is obviously a, a shot that makes sense with only one haul left. Though, I'm not sure if it really helps Zam. You could end up... Uh, I mean, there is a potential to even lose Zam if rolls go real bad. Mm -hmm. But you can't kill any of the other shifts. So... Not without Zam's bonus attack, I don't think. Uh, oh, only... Got, or, uh, Django's I'm got a... Trail Mix. Only one? Yeah, I think he was saving the Dooku for potentially messing with the offense of one of the other two ships. For sure. Now, one thing to remember about Dooku. Oh, all right. Had the target lock. That's pretty solid. Oh, I see what he did here. Okay. Well, ends up with crit crit hit. That's pretty good. And that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. And just for for the lulls here, we got a direct hit. More damage. Lots of dead. All right. Uh, Zam most likely will have a bonus attack here onto red. Uh, in addition to the regular attack, mm -hmm. but he's going to pay for it quite a bit there. 
Range one. The rest of the the only modifier here is the uh, Emperor Palpatine Force. Do you use it? Are you choosing violence? Emperor Chancellor. Sorry, not the Emperor. I mean, soon to be. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor Palpatine. Palp. Yep. Hit, hit, crit. Ooh, snake eyes there for that Jedi Knight. Will he spend his force? Yeah, he does. Two shields. Yeah. Spend it on defense while he can. <laughs> Robert, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Well, the Jedi Knights have an opportunity here. I mean, think about the th the theme of this of this matchup, right? You got Chancellor Palpatine like save me inside, but then helping with the Force, right? Because it's Palp mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. and spends here for the Yellow Jedi Knight. Three hits. Two of them are sticking. Shield and a card. Is that half points, Dion? Uh, hold on. Uh, not quite yet. You matter mean business. After you defend, you can spend two charges to perform a bonus attack. So it's revealed. Now Patrick knows. Uh, yeah, there should be a card there. Right? The shot out of order. Ah, uh, because Luminara is supposed to shoot first. Mm -hmm. And you just resolve the attack and move on, or...? I mean, are there, are there any modifiers? Uh... Stay about it. I think the question, the question is ab about uh, the shot order. Yes. Did you... Did they figure it out? Did they choose? Uh, it's just come up to us. Yep, so you have, uh, when judge calls of this odd nature, uh, you get, uh, there's three options. So it's continue, um, rewind, or either it's play, on, rewind, and then I think there's the other one that is just issuing points. Mm -hmm. I forget off the top of my head. It feels bad to rewind the attack, but it might have to be done just to... Make it right. Yep. I'm not really sure. Like you, had, like your first question was like, "What was the modifiers?" Yeah. Right? And it, Zam only has the single palp, so it doesn't really matter. But I think we're undoing it here. Rewind. Okay. Undoing that attack. Just want to make sure that is, every, is everything back back to where it was. Palp well, has good. been used. Palp. Pulp had been used I mean, before, prior to that attack. And hello, I instructed them to uh, roll it back with uh, Lumi attacking, so that uh, initial attack never transpired. Okay. All right. So this is three hits then from Luminara with that calibrated laser targeting into Zam this time. Zam hey. blanked out, so lost the shield and takes two damage cards. And now range now, now range one four dice from the yellow Jedi Knight. Yep, and yellow should have a force. And spend the force for hit crit. Yep. Let's see if it what changes here. It was one went through the Takes last time. Ooh. Both. And the rollback is gonna hurt now because now it's taking a direct crit. hit. Takes another Ooh. one. Wow. Uh, that puts Zam down to one health with red about to attack. We might have a a mutual destruction here because Zam's got that bonus attack. Locked and loaded. That's right. I mean, you spent you you spend the force it's, all day. Oh, you don't have it. It's just hit crit. Oh, he's got a lock. Yeah. Oh, he's got a lock. Here you go. Take the lock action. One additional hit is a guaranteed. Got him. That is wow. Now he's got to lean on the natties. There's two crits in there too. All right, so just one crit coming in. See if it affects the shot. Does nope. not. Just wounded. 
Yep. So here's the <laughs> you better mean business Jedi Knight. Because this Excuse is a me. bonus attack then. Um, you can do bonus attacks like Zam and Dengar before you, uh, while you're even dead. Oh! oh. Quad oh. eyes, four Cyclops staring back at you. Zam goes pop, pop, gets nothing in return. Patrick up now, 49 to 95. The Hanson bro ahead in this game. Uh, yeah, I mean that's the that's the biggest challenge uh, f when facing these two ship builds is that the normally they're so tanky and so uh, defensive that it's hard to take out just a single ship. And Patrick set up that kill box two rounds in a row, caught Zam uh, heading into the middle of the board, and just uh, shot it up with the seven B Jedi. That's right. I mean, it, it came down to that decision to reinforce, I think, is is really what hurt Sasha. Like, I understand the defensive uh, capability in there, but I feel I have very rarely in tight spaces, especially in the obstacles when you're, when you're facing ships, most of the time that reinforces a bad thing because you don't have places to escape. But, you know... Uh, exactly. We'll see. Django is an initiative six and can do a lot of work. Sasha is not out of this and could flip this game really quickly. You are one away from half for the red Jedi Knight, but you do have mm -hmm. Luminara and the yellow yellow Jedi Knight full, but you also got Django who's full, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, let's uh let's actually go back over uh, while they're setting dials here. Let's go back over to you. Django Fett's ability because when he was facing Marcel in the uh, A wings, they were always doing blue maneuvers, so he really didn't trigger. So let me read that again. While you defend or perform a primary attack, if the difficulty of your revealed maneuver is less than that of the enemy ships, you may change one of the enemy's uh, eyeball results to a blank result. Uh, which would really mess with these Jedi who do love their force tokens and spending them on those eyeball results. And they don't have a lot of blue on their dial necessarily. I think it's just the one in two banks and two and three forward. Mm hmm. So it could be an opportunity for Django to shine here. Still has Dooku and uh, the thermal detonators ready to go. And obviously now Lone Wolf, uh, that's on Django, going to be triggering every round. He has no friends. <laughs> I have no friends. I am alone. Reroll. <laughs> let my dice roll. Let it roll. I mean, having having a reroll and a force every turn, really powerful. We know that. Yeah, that's just so, good. <laughs> Turns so out. What I'm guessing here, looking at Patrick's moves, he's going to try to set up some target locks with blocks. On Django, mm -hmm. see if you can have a couple turns uh, with fully modified shots. Yep. Yeah, that Luminar is going to be tough to make him really put out some damage without having to spend his mods. But it also means that the Jedi are going to be clumped together and will be easier for him to get shots on them. I mean, the clear targets here is red, right? He's down two shields already. You can come in, you can take a couple shots on him, take him out, make it two on one at that point. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Taking the barrel roll. Trying to hold on to that half points. All right, Luminara also turning away. Yeah, you gotta be careful here. You don't want to bolt go in for the block and expose one of your other ships there. Well, that that is a double block attempt. If Django ends up going straight, there's a good chance he doesn't have Luminara in the arc because the arc would be a little bit too far forward. Delivers Ooh, the jam. Yep. Jam uh, again, delivery fine -tune, system. Fine-tune controls is after the maneuvering, and then you could trigger chopper, which is jamming after the maneuver. Perfect chassis for that. Uh, Astro Mech gets the jam out on Django. I mean, you got Lone Wolf and Forest, so mm. 
it's not like you're really leaning hard on your uh okay uh, actually get, gonna go ahead and take a little bit of extra space and smartly getting luminar out of the way because that means yellow would have had been shot by range one um with the boost action but the red jedi knight taking a range three shot three on three Django has a reroll and a force. He used a Dooku here. Here's the roll. Move. Only one. Red Jedi feeling good about that. Yep, three dice with the Rangers bonus and a focus token. He's no safe. Problem. Spend the focus. Do it. Three <laughs> hit, three evades. You earned it. So this turn, Patrick able to get away with picking up a target lock in this turn. Now, one of the things I want to talk about Django here really quick is the fact that with both the Lone Wolf and the Dooku Force available, he doesn't necessarily mind bumping people because he still has passive mods. Doesn't matter. As long as he's not on top of a rock, he can still hurt people. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I, I think he's... He's got to just ignore the other two. Just singularly focus on red, work him one at a time. Now, as we're waiting here, I want to remind you that we have three other qualifiers happening. We have the Delta, Sigma, and Omega qualifiers. Tickets are still on sale, goldsquadronpodcast.com. Qualify during your qualifying event. Figure out which championship you will be making. It will either be Recruit, Vet, or Ace. And then we're creating those championship events to cater to each different player level. Super excited about that. You know, just the, the whole goal of the series is, of course, to have competitive X-Wing to keep you guys entertained, for us to have something to talk about. But on top of that is just giving players of all levels an opportunity at that championship level loot. Like, I'm, I'm excited to see who we get at that ace level. Like, really, whoever wins the ace championship is really going to have to go through a murderer's row. Um, and and that's that's going to be a, a big point of pride, whoever that champion is. And you know, I'm I'm excited to see who ends up winning the recruit championship and how some of those uh, you know newer and less experienced players do because they ha they have not had an opportunity to really play at at this type of competitive level with people who who are at that same level as them. But here we go. We got that thermal detonator drop and a sloop from the yellow Jedi Knight. <clears throat> Sir, Mr. Dr. Love, yes, all three levels of the championships will be streamed. March is uh is Flight Club Championship month. Take a look at that schedule, goldsquadronpodcast.com. We're taking next weekend off for championships. It's gonna be a, just a normal flight club morning uh morning stream. And we follow it up with a couple more qualifiers. Setting up that target lock on Django. And I like the idea of the target locks. Get yourself some fully modified opportunities. Or at least yep, more good. modified. Yep, there's only one ship, so you only need one lock out there. You'll know you'll you'll know you'll be able to use it. Yep, Django trying to activate his ability here, just Real casual one banking. Should have his ability active on against all of these Jedi. All right, and so as a reminder, favorites. that's why you perform or defend uh, a primary attack. If the difficulty of your reveal, reveal maneuver is less, you could change one of your enemy's focuses to a blank in that modified dice result step. But here's Django firing first. Range one hit crit. Spends a focus for four. Trying to punish yep, that Jedi lone, Knight. Lone Wolf reroll into focus token. Jedi Knight's only got two here. Gonna have to get both. Oh, I actually only needs one because he's still got a shield. Hit, hit, crit going through. Let's see if he lives. Weapons failure. That hurts, especially sitting at range one with a 7B Jedi. Yeah. You pay all those points to get that extra die. 
Militant Casual Clanker, getting that 12 months of subbing. Thank you so much. And getting that 12 month badge next to your name in the chat. Also, Isofane, did I see you have a new badge next to your name as well? For your thousands, thousandth <laughs> sub? That's awesome. He's good. Oh, that's so cool. Two dice. This is going to be a Django change there. First one in the game. Highball to blank. Easy. Right, this is range two. And that, that ability is super good. No range oh, restriction. Yeah. Hit, crit, crit. Especially good against a Jedi, but he might be taking some damage here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have any more mods, so just going to take those three shields. Slowly whittling him down. Range one. Three dice with the force. Of course, don't mean much, though, because that Django ability. You're looking for natties here. Oh, yeah. Weapons failure. And that. Django. Look at that. Ability. Working. Yeah. Saving damage here. Because these Jedi have force. Yeah. Now, he does have a target lock. He has an option to reroll it. Who's going to? Oh, blank to blank. blank. Feels bad. Hit crit. We're getting a crit under the shields, folks. What do we got? We got a direct, direct hit. hit. Two damage. Ooh. That's uh, should, Is that half points with the hull upgrade? It is not. Because maths. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, it's not. Don't, don't, don't do it. You need seven. <laughs> He's got six damage. Four shields and two hull. I think he's oh, got... Oh, no, it is half. Crap! <laughs> no! <laughs> got me again. <laughs> I was going to say, that's not a falcon. That's a fire I was spray. thinking of he's the falcon. I was thinking of the falcon. Ah, I quit. I quit. I'm done. We're done. Turning the stream man, off, bro. I'm, it's man, over. I'm just... I'm really, I'm really just lobbing up softballs for you. Yeah, just... I thought you were trying <laughs> to troll me. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to give you a vindication <laughs> of knowing if it's half or not. <laughs> And we failed. No. Nope. Ollie's going to give me bad marks. Bad marks in math. <laughs> I trolled myself. All right. Well, Patrick in the driver's seat here, 74 to 147. He is five hole away from claiming the Alpha Flight Club qualifier. Let's see if he can get it. Listen, I am a music teacher, okay? We don't count past four. Let's be honest. <laughs> Sometimes six, what? but really we're grounding in two. It's a lie. <laughs> seven, eight. No, seven, eight, you count one, two, three, and then whatever divisions of two you need. You don't need to count a seven. Yeah, but what about ace notes, though? Eighth notes, one and two and three and four and. Easy. You subdivide. Mm. <laughs> I only I could do my whole life in fours. <laughs> Surely you go to eight. No, there's no reason to go to eight. Why would you go to eight? Why would you hurt your brain like this? There you go. Yeah, that's why got we it. only have seven tournaments in this series. No eight. No eight. That's right. <laughs> Sixteen notes, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a easy. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll do this do all day. For thirty up. seconds. If this game had anything to do with music, I would be the best. <laughs> but it doesn't. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, this 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 tournament today and yesterday has been fantastic. Thank you to all the players who's been a part of it, and of course, all of you at home. Thank you for having fun with us. Listen, if I got it right every time, would you be as entertained? Let's be honest. 
Uh, so we got some predictions in the chat here. I think there's a prediction for you guys here. Django's got two easy lanes here. Is he going left or right? What's the advantages? I would almost say right just to get away from Luminara. <laughs> That's a second thermal detonator. Ooh, that ain't right. Three bank from the Jedi onto the rock. He's only got one health. This is going to be a Dooku for sure. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man. Oh, like, mm. look at their lips on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, well, it was a hit anyways, and that Jedi is gone. Got him. Yeah, I'm sure that's a feels bad. If I'm glad I'm aware of that, because I I would be, I would be like deer in headlights too. If someone's like, "Oh man, just hit this rock. Oh, it'll be okay. They'll just roll a blank." And someone's right. like, "Spend Dooku for crit." I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. Well, so much for the that red Jedi. I don't know where. He tried to leave, but. <laughs> Did not work. Did not. Well, I mean, he's still, he's still got tools, though. He's got a full yellow Jedi Knight and a full Luminara. A, mm -hmm. a quick note, because we did see some confusion in the chat earlier. Remember, Luminara is a calibrated laser-targeting Jedi, not a 7B. So that's why she only has one shield. Correct. Yep. No, now, this is going to come Canonically. Go ahead. Uh, canonically, we don't know much about Django before... Attack of the Clones, but I'll bet Dooku chose him because he can kill Jedi, and I think he's proving that in this match. Oh yeah, the theme is strong. Oh, I mean, yeah. I I feel like he is designed to be good against Jedi because of the fight against Obi Wan Kenobi. Like that, mm -hmm. it it makes sense, especially when they are attacking focuses. Like that, mm -hmm. that makes sense to me. And also, it just makes sense that they would choose a clone template where their donor is good at killing Jedi, right? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Makes sense. Star Wars conspiracy theories. Trying to get a little bit of extra room there with the yellow Jedi Knight. Yeah. And setting up a lock. Trying to get away from the bomb. Jedi Knight already has a lock. So, probably just going to focus. Like someone's having a tape dance competition on the walls. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. Okay, dun, 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 dun. I did hear that yeah, as well. I don't know if you, can, I don't know if you guys <laughs> can hear it. But. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, two bank here to clear the stress. Luminara. Somebody oh, asking if... What was the question here? Uh, I, I lost it. I lost it in the chat. Never mind. Ignore me. Luminara taking a focus. Trying to get get that uh, get that Django. Only has one force. Important thing to note there. Oh, gives the um man Luminara with that jam. Yep, really jam. the secret tool. Um, we've there's been a lot of talk about putting Hound in uh, this slot as the kind of fourth in this seven um, B uh, trio. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Luminara's definitely improved herself today. That with Chopper, she can be very effective. That's right. Zam boosting out to avoid the bullseye. So no CLT additional focus when Luminara shoots. But it also gives uh, Luminara that additional defense die. Ooh. Hit, crit, hit. Sorry, that reading is hard. Hit, crit, crit. Uh, yeah, Dooku doesn't no. work on this attack. Yeah, there was crits rolled. So I think this is going to be a Luminara... He's going, for spend. he's going for 
Uh, oh. That's all I did. Is the so Dooku triggered first? No Dooku trigger. Luminara then triggered, and turned into an eyeball. And there's no other mods, so ends up with two crits. Got it. Oh, net super natties, super yeah. natties. Kind of wish you kept your force there, but you can't count on the trip or the quadruple natural. That's so. right. Here we go from downtown. No modifiers defensively for Zam here. Yeah, Luminar did the blue, so no Django effect. It's gonna uh, spend for two, two, I'm assuming. Yeah, no, there's nothing else going on here. Taking one. Uh, probably a lone wolf trigger. Nope. Already uh, spent it on, this turn. Yeah, use on offense to reroll that eyeball. That's right. Pretty sure the bomb's out. They'll change. Check it right here. We're good. We got 29 minutes left. I want to remind you guys of a couple other things today. I do need to run as soon as this broadcast is over. I got to get out of here. All right. So we're going to be cutting it off a little bit more abruptly than usual. Usually we hang out a little bit. But we'll be back Monday evening, next uh, tomorrow evening at 830 for our podcast. where We'll be going over everything here. And you can watch our podcast live here on Twitch, watch it later on YouTube, or watch some of the clips I've been uploading. Not sure. It seems like people have been enjoying the, the little bits and pieces when I've been putting those up on YouTube, especially if uh, it seems like people who normally don't have time for the full, you know, two-hour experience, hour-and-a-half experience, you know, will we'll watch those, uh, those clips to get at least snippets of, uh, of what they find interesting. All right, so and Luminara doing a great job keeping on pressure, and she, she's she is honestly a great choice to keep putting pressure on Django as well with those passive modifiers um, uh, of Django being able to stop some of that with Luminara's ability seems really solid. Are we going to see thermal detonators here? Or you th or you think it's a pretty obvious? Don't fly behind uh, Django turn. Uh, no, there's too many options. Uh, I mean, you just hard one Luminar, right? Catches uh, Django on the other side of those rocks. So oh. nah, you, you only got two bombs left, so you better make them count. But what if what if it's just like a, uh, you know, one of those where do you think I will? That you think I don't? That I will? That I won't? Yeah, but Luminar does need to take that lane though. That's why I don't understand. Well, he's that dropping lane's it. not going to keep her having shots. I think he, I, he might just be dropping it for the exit lane. But these ships can boost in barrel roll, so he should be able to get out of a bomb. He's only speaking, uh, only speak, only dropping one. Yeah, I'm dropped it with the two. Like I said, maybe to catch them leaving. I don't know. I don't see anything but a hard one barrel roll. Jam yourself from Luminara happening right now. There's the hard one, as predicted. I mean, it, it was the safest move. And Patrick doesn't need to be the aggressor here. He is ahead. I think he's looking at if the boost would jam again. <laughs> I don't think so. I think he'd be at range two. Yeah, me too. It's more than, more than wider than that rock. Or significantly more than. That I mean, it would, it would put his arc on if he's trying to get a shot, but I, I think you, you, I think you wait a turn, wait for a better approach. Well, that's, see, that's the problem is that if you boost, and then you don't have the jam, you just jam yourself, and now you got no mods. So I think, like I said, I think the safe bet's just barrel roll out. Wait for next turn, maybe barrel roll and boost if you really. Trying to set up a nice, like, five forward back into the fight to mm -hmm. stay close to Django. It does the barrel roll. I, I think you probably just stay stay there. Stay there. Keep it cash. I feel that if he's just going to barrel roll, he shouldn't use the fine-tuned controls for that. He should just do it so he can hang on to his force. But I think he was doing it to see if he wanted to boost or not, and... Uh... He didn't end up using the force, though, because there's no jam token anymore. Uh, but Django came back for that shot. Can't uh, can't risk these turns off eating time. And is going to be taking 
a range two shot at Luminara. Looking at the angle, that means Luminara will have a shot back, but like you said, unmodified. One hit. Did we get a Dooku trigger? No, probably Dooku saves for offense. Or yep. excuse me, for defense. We'll go ahead and get that Lone Wolf reroll. Got a crit. Are we going to spend the force for three? Yeah, I like mm -hmm. it here. I like yeah. pressing for the, for the extra damage. And is going to get half points, including a crit on the Luminara. Let's find out what's in the box. Ooh, that's rough. It's a blinded oh, pilot. I mean, you're a force user, but I think ideally in this matchup, you want to use your force for defense and you want to be setting up target locks and focuses for offense. So a little bit, little bit rough there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but small misplay of considering the boost barrel, roll, but not committed to it. Oh! Hey, gets two hits. Well, will, will you squeak something in here? Hey, getting a crit for free? I'll take it. Wounded, Wounded pilot, after you perform an action, roll an attack die and a hit or crit. Take a stress. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, our points now with that halved Luminara. That's 125. Uh, to Shashka and 147 to Patrick. What's up with changing the dice faces before rolling? Some people think it makes the rolls more consistent if they all have the same side face. I I personally don't do it because uh, I, I trust in that the system randomly rolls the dice. But... This is definitely a game where people get, uh, what do I want to say, superstitious. Oh, my you know? goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. There's so much superstition. <laughs> I, I I did. It does remind me that I saw somebody doing that, that they turned all of their red dice to hits before they rolled them. I was like, yeah. why don't you change them to crits? <laughs> right. My, my, <laughs> Isn't that more powerful? Well. <laughs> yeah. Why would you always like? He so doesn't I want don't get it. You don't want to be greedy with the energy. You just you just asking for a little bit, right? You're like, I don't, I don't need crits. Hits are fine. I guess it's, it's just like I said, the same mentality that I I know what they're doing is that they want it to be truly random, right? No, uh, to start all from the same constant state. But why do you choose evades and hits then? Like why not blanks? Like was was that thought process? I don't know. It's the same people who rub their dice to heat them up before they roll. True, true. Hey, we got editor Nick in the in the uh, in the chat. Let's get some exclamation point Nick explosions in the, on the screen. Let's go. He said, "Charge the dice." That's right. You do got to charge the dice, Nick. You, I mean, I do. I catch myself just. Just like, all right, all he needs is just two hits from you. Or don't roll a blank, I swear. Don't you do it. I hope when I do get my or exclamation point redeem Jonah, uh -huh. uh, it's something as cool as Nick's uh, missile with the table flip. That's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Has Jonah flipped the table? No, nope, he is not. He is not. I, 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 he is gonna have to screw up something pretty bad. I don't. I don't know, Nick. It, let's... Nick, I actually am not even promoted, so <laughs> I, I can't flip the table. <laughs> oh man! Flip it now, Wade. Wade Snap says. <laughs> All right, getting ready to fire here. Clearing the stress with a yellow Jedi Knight. Making a little kill box for, for Django with only three health left. Even if Django punches you hard, you have potential to end the game right here. Yeah, Django's certainly not out of this. Uh, he it has proven to be very defensive. Hmm. I think Luminar is Go going to bear roll and jam. I don't know if that gets you into range one, does it? 
Oh yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah. Jam. Oh yeah. Jam. <laughs> Man, this chopper. Chopper make a resurgence. Uh, in this tournament, at least. Uh, so many people have very important actions. It'd be so sad if they didn't have. <laughs> See this action? Right, it's Mike. It's Mike. All right, did we get the, the block, block and the jam? It tries to for the block anyways. And focus for her action. I'm sure he was tempted to take a target lock. No. Focus but being the, the right choice here after seeing the one hard from Django. So if you take an action, uh, taking any tokens just removes the wounded. So it doesn't do, or excuse me, removes the jam. So it has to boost. Now rules for the wounded. I don't need to Dooku this one. Stress. Oh, whoa. Yep, that's on hits or crits. So 50% chance there to get a stress. No big deal though. Exiting now. I'm going to drop a thermal then head on out. Has Dooku and Lone Wolf available for this attack? Yeah, I'm surprised he's not attacking yellow to strip some tokens here. They're both rolling three agility. Agreed, yes. I think yellow is probably the better buy. If you can get rid of the uh, yeah. the focus there, right. it makes you All a little right. he safer. Dinged. He dinged it. He dinged it. I was like, they're both three agility focus, so... Uh, three defense dice, rather. Oh, oh man. Yeah, you hold on to that lone wolf for defense now. Yeah, all defensive. You, uh, you Dooku the Dooku the Evade. Got the reroll as well. You'll be fine. Three on three attack here. This Jedi Knight also has a target lock set up. Watch out for the fully modified shot. Mm hmm. Ah, well. Don't want it. Don't need, need it. it. Hit, hit, crit. And did we have a, here's a lone wolf. Could it stick? Oh, that's another crit. Oh my goodness. Council fire. So really limited options now. Now Django has to one bank to avoid the obstacle. Could maybe three forward, but I don't think that clears it. Um, so one bank and fix the council fire. And it's not like yellow's going anywhere. Still have, what, one last thermal to drop? Uh, yeah, we got one last thermal, which we'll probably see. Uh, I'm guessing the two straight drop. Get a little more, little more space, especially if that Jedi Knight ends up going straight. Yeah, there's a good chance that the Jedi could just... Like, uh, I think uh, Patrick, after that round for uh, all of his shifts, K turned and Jenga was just changing all the eyeballs to blanks. I don't think he's done anything but blue maneuver since. Uh, I was like, wow, that's very strong. I don't like that. So, what's the win condition here for Sasha? He needs, he's behind how many points? Is 22? Yeah, he 20... just has to have that Jedi or kill Luminara. He just needs one more set of points. So that that means that you uh, you have to be the aggressor with. I mean, if I'm if I'm Patrick, am I attacking with both? Take a turn off. Don't get too aggressive yet, and then bring in both. You might lose one, but then you, if you have two shots, you know that that gives you an opportunity to actually do something. I wouldn't want to go one on one right now. No, because a bad blank out could mm -hmm. cost you. This final has been fantastic. Lots of trading back and forth right now. Patrick Hansen ahead. I believe Patrick is from California. I was wondering if that was the Patrick I met uh, out at uh, when we did the organ system open. Tyco1707 confirmed. Yes. I know him and his brother uh, did sponsor us at one point when they were, they were running uh, a Kickstarter, which is pretty cool. So thank you to them. I believe it was at the Isophane Challenge, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, whoa. Echo. No, it's my phone. <laughs> I turned my phone on to see what a beep was, and it's still running the Twitch stream from a lunch break. Sounds like Dion oh. just mocked himself. 
Oh my god, why are you doing? All right, Turn off! Outside. I don't know how! <laughs> Yeet's phoned. Oh no. All right, I like this move here by Patrick. Taking, taking the turn off, going to the top of the board, regroup, and then coming together to attack, do an attack run on Django Fett. Yep, regroup. You got, I mean, you're up on points. So you really have no reason to engage. Put the pressure on him. Just got to flip the council fire. Yep. Was that is one thing. The wounded? He, he flipped the wounded and not not council fire. Well, uh, he can yeah, he can gonna... he can do oh, the Dooku. council fire. Oh man, yeah, man. When you just get that Dooku in your mind of I could do anything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in these roles, I could control every outcome. Yeah, wow. Till the Jedi cuts your head off, but I mean that's neither here nor there. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I have seen a meme. Uh, that going around was like, well, like, enough of this. He's a Sith Lord. And Anakin, it's just so bad. Like, what? <laughs> All right, so Django still got another round, though, to fix that, to hard one and fix the console fire. But those Jedis are just going to go hide back in Patrick's deployment zone, right? Like, yeah. They have, they have no reason to engage right now. This is true. Oh, uh, by the way, really quickly about the choose your champion. Uh, since we have, which is we got our choose your champion champion, uh, Rishka thirteen. The points will be reset after today. All right, points will be reset. So if you want your opportunity to spend, this is the time. The time is now <laughs> yeah. to spend your points because they are going bye bye. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty much spammed redeems ever since that first Nick explosion. <laughs> If you got a favorite faction, start spinning them. That's right. Oh my, that was a lot of. That's still going redeems. Yep. Pretty much gonna re be redeems for the next twelve minutes here. No, big probably deal. there. There is a um, there's a cool a, sh a short cooldown on each of them, so they'll be a little bit spaced out. Dang it, Dion. I just got all these points. <laughs> it's all right. It's it's okay. Now you get a chance to be the champion. We're going to start at zero. That's okay. I think I lost all but one of my chooser, your champions throughout this tournament. <laughs> you were letting me down. The people like runs who have like 400,000, uh, you should have like some kind of super expensive redeem. So they have something to put their credits into if they didn't win you know what i, I mean i was working on a, on, on a pretty elaborate one and i just never i just haven't finished it yet hoping hoping that i can finish it at some point cancel yeah, the, the animations top 20, are really cool though cancel the top job. 25 only nah that's too much work <laughs> that's too much work cancel all gone delete reset smack the button do it again all right, uh, Patrick, choosing the violins here, uh, not running away. Setting up for another attack strike next round. Django, where you going? I think Patrick's de deciding to jam himself or bear roll this question uh, so I don't, I don't know if you guys let me see uh, you guys can't really see this on the on the screen but Patrick is uh, just have a mess of tokens and stress and dice over on his side uh, the classic messy player hi <laughs> right, Django you're boosting in into those arcs, so you're fixing your console fire. Now, as we have this final rundown, I want to remind you that this round and all of our rounds today and this weekend have been brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code ALPHA2021 for 21% off. Thank you to our giveaway sponsor, District Foundry. 
Use that same code. And in fact, you know the meme where it's like, are the are the GSP coupon codes good till Tuesday? The District Foundry one, I know, is. So you get an extra day on that one. And also, shout out as well to Kuat Print Yards. Use code, code GSP there for 15% off. They've been sponsoring all of the, the weekend uh, flight club scrimmages. Uh, by the namesake of Flight Clips, I want to give him a quick shout out here as well. All right, where are we at? Well, um, I think actually Luminar had a chance that round. He was debating whether to barrel roll or jam himself or do anything of those things, but he, he actually never fixed his blinded in those turns off. What did Luminara do? Yeah, Luminara just hard won and sat there. Could have used that opportunity to jam herself and then fix that blinded pilot. So small, small misstep, but mm -hmm. pretty sure Patrick's uh, confident here um, that he will take the game. Though, like I said, it's like what? Uh, two damage to Luminara. Uh, is the win for Chashka and three shields on the blue, or excuse me, the yellow uh, Jedi Knight. It's also a win condition. And here we go. Nice and easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Too straight. No, we don't run away for eight minutes here. We are violins. That's right. Luminara set up to support. Yeah, I don't think you do anything. You just jam yourself and barrel roll out. Maybe you want to save your... Maybe don't barrel out and want to save your both your force tokens. Seeing the negative sides here of Chopper that at some point you may not get too many actions. All righty. See, oh, this is what I don't understand. Why spend the force to bear roll? What are you doing with your perform action stuff then? Bo boosting to the right. Oh, boosting. All right. That's why I was questioning. I was like, what are you doing? There it is. Okay. I mean, I don't like the path because he's not going to have a shot if if Django boosts. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't mean. But could just sat there and fix blinded. Is all I'm saying. But he he is kind of hanging Luminar out there, kind of like bait. Like, hey, you want to. You want Does a little, you want to come get a Luminar? Uh, she looks like she might have a shot right now, though. We slap down the Reinforce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reinforce, uh, you got to. Uh, it's not going to block both damages, but can. One crit. Well, no Dooku call it. here. Doesn't seem like it. It's not worth it. Save everything for defense. Lone Wolf Trigger. Yeah. Do you Nothing. That? You got to throw them both away. Two agility for this 7B Jedi Knight. Hey, he probably, he might, uh, he's, got, he's got a force, right? Yeah, force and a focus token. He don't care. Yeah. Use the force and let's see. Let's see if this Jedi Knight can be upgraded to the rank of master. Ah, nothing for Lumi. Right. Has that lock, took it a long time ago. I've been just waiting to use it. He double checked it with his hand, make sure that that was his lock. This is the time. Range two, fully modified. Got two. Here's the reroll. Hit, hit, crit. Django can't block these crits, man, no. all over the place. So he can, he guarantees it. So a Dooku call here for an evade, and the reinforce picks up the other one. He survives by taking just one crit. Mm hmm. Yeah, Dooku the evade. Yep. I mean, he, do, he you do it. You could get natties here. He, he didn't, Dooku the evade, but luckily he rolled an eyeball. Da! Ah! No, no, he he spent he was spending Dooku, not Lone Wolf. Oh, okay. So still ends up still ends up with the two of aids there at, with the reinforced and takes a whole breach, which is a meaningless crit. 
at one health. That's right. Sasha, so got, got, got to love the, the attitude Sasha's got here. He's like, I am fighting for every point. I'm going to take it to the grave. Let's go. I mean, not dead yet. Still, one shot's the, the difference. All he needs is one good shot to make up those points. Mm-hmm. Maybe Luminara can finish it off next turn. We'll find out. Now, if you didn't catch all of our games, I want to remind you that those of you who are sub to the Twitch channel, you can watch all of the games um, right away. They'll be in our archive here for our subscribers. And anybody else, you can watch them, of course, later on YouTube. They'll be uploaded, uploaded uh, probably in about a week or so. And then we got we have a black you know we always got games saved from uh, from other weeks and things like that, but we try we try to get the event games out ASAP. And like I said, we're gonna sign off pretty quickly once this is over. I want to want to make sure I also take the opportunity to thank our patrons. Uh, you guys are the ones that are able, that have really brought us to where we're at right now. I know a lot of people ask, you know, what's what's the, what's the best way to support you guys? And uh, Patreon is the number one way, and they are our group of our number one supporters. So thank you to everybody who has done it. Um, I did announce all of the upcoming Patreon swag. We commended, commissioned a Dash Rendar, uh, Rear Admiral Sharanu, and then the Scimitar Squadron Bomber. Those are all, th all three of those cards uh, going out. We got a Sunterfell sticker, the uh, plastic version of those cards, and, of course, those cast iron charges, which are modeled after our TTS ones, uh, are going to be uh, for that top group. So uh, super excited about that. And if you're going to be in the top group, uh, there's limited to – I think I, I upped it to 60 because that's what we could fit in the budget. I could fit – uh, up to 60 uh, people in that uh, in that top group. So thank you to everybody who has been it. And we have probably one to two more turns left right here. Yeah, there's only two and a half minutes left in there. Uh, uh, keeping pace here. Yep. Lu Luminara's here. decision is, is, the, is the one that's on the flip-flop right now. I mean, it is the game still. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, like we we've been saying talking talking it up, but like Patrick has the game you know locked away, but like not really. One one bad roll, one bad mistake mm -hmm. uh, could cost him, and Django could eke out the win in the final moments of the tournament. <laughs> Mr. Rocker Crocker suggesting that I just let the the, the stream run idle. Uh, so you guys can can redeem all your stuff. <laughs> all righty, here we go. Luminara taking the two turn, trying to get that bullseye on and see if she can put in the final nail in the coffin. We got to watch out if Django can grab can get her at range one. That could be bad as well. He only needs Sasha only needs to get the other half of either one of these ships. Two damage on Luminara or three damage on the Jedi Knight to be ahead. Yeah, I think uh, Luminar is going to jam the Jedi Knight. He can withstand the uh, the shot better than she can. She's going to use the Force to take a Purple Evade. Yep, uh, and there's Django. One bank after that uh, exchange. Or excuse me, after the, uh, the exchange last round where he took it to reinforce. That means his ability is on. Luminar did the hard two, so she's going to need that evade because he's taking away one of her eyeball results. Oh, did he Dooku the crit? You, I mean, you go four, right? Two, yeah. and I, a couple blanks. Like, you, yeah. this could be the game. You have to, right? You, you have to. Spend the four. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh my goodness! The, the anticipation here of what is oh oh Luminara is deciding to use her ability. Her ability because she has the force as well. She oh, can change. Lumin does it? She does, turns it does. down. She has, 
She has to. She has to. Uh, so then you got Lone Wolf reroll. There's the timer. This is the last chance. Oh, got a crit. Oh, no. Uh, I that's think that's Dooku. It's just, uh, yeah. yeah, Dooku. All right. So she's going to need a lot here. You need two. You need two. One, two. No. Spend the no, force. No, it's the evade. The evade. The purple spend, evade she took. Spend the evade. Keep and and now we've got a crit, it, though. There's a crit. Crit. Direct. The, this is the entire tournament on a direct hit or not. Blinded no. pilot Blinded. Patrick Hansen wins the game. Our flight club alpha qualifier champion. Woo! Big woots. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if they finish. Uh, I don't think he's going to bother taking the shot. I think they're just going to call it here. Oh, <sighs> man. Heart was racing until the end. Uh, he wants a shot. Oh, yeah. He, he can shoot if he wants. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's his table now. That's right. He's going for win. all the glory. All Three the dice, glory. No One. Single hit. No mods on Django. Save. Him. All right. Fair enough. I mean, I would have feel I would have felt better, too, at full destruction as yeah, well. That's All righty. Well, thank you so much to both Sasha and Patrick for participating.